hexaniacinate or hexanicotinate are the same thing. They're both niacin in a no-flush form. Hexaniacinate or hexanicotinate, still vitamin B3, still niacin. They do, in either form, uh, causes a flush. And that's why most people take it. Regular niacin does. Then there's niacinamide, which does not cause a flush, but it does not have blood lipid benefits. That means that it would not lower your LDL or raise your HDL or affect your triglycerides, whereas niacin does, and so does the form you're taking, um, hexaniacinate. So good for you that you have a diet that is so healthy. Lots of vegetable juices and sprouts, 75% raw vegetables, hooray for you, very nice. See, a diet doesn't have to be 100% to be really good. 75% really, 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 really good is exactly what I think most people can live with. So what you're reporting here is that niacin works when you take it at bedtime and helps you sleep through the night. It helps me too. And you're doing it on 500 milligrams, which is a modest dose for niacin in a therapeutic role. So I'm glad it helps you. You mentioned that taking it in the daytime makes you feel very sleepy and tired. Well, I suppose that's not too surprising for you, since when you take it at night, it must also help you feel rather sleepy and tired because you're able to sleep through the night. And niacin does have this effect on many folks. In fact, it probably has this effect on almost everyone, but the degree will vary. You seem to be responding very well to relatively small doses of niacin. Remember that Dr. Abram Hoffer would commonly give 1,000 milligrams three times a day, and you're taking 500 once at night and three 250s during the day. That's not a rip-roaring high dose of niacin. It looks to me that's about 1,250 milligrams a day and I take much, much more than that. A lot of people do for various reasons. Of course, it's not a contest. It's not a, a, a test to see how much niacin you can hold. The idea is to feel good. So what you're doing at night is working and what you're during, doing during the day is not working. So I would stop doing it. I would stop doing what's not working. If you're taking niacin during the day and you really do feel it makes you sleepy and tired, knock it off. Just take it at night when you want to be sleepy and tired. Take your niacin at night. If it makes you sleepy, you sleep better. Fantastic. During the day, if you don't need the niacin, don't have to take it. Now, an insight here. Back in his 1949 book, The Common Form of Joint Dysfunction, J-O-I-N-T, The Common Form of Joint Dysfunction, Dr. William Kaufman, MD and PhD, made a comment in the book about treating patients with niacin. Now, he happened to use niacinamide, but it's basically the same information regardless of form. It's applicable to all the different forms of niacin. Now, Dr. Kaufman mentioned that sometimes people that feel they're very productive, very active, very busy, and they got to really haul and get a lot of things done and go, 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 go. When they take niacin, they do slow down. And he said that this is called decreased running in laboratory animals. When you take rodents and make them deficient in niacin, and I imagine if you made them hyped up on sugar and artificial color, it would also make them hyperactive. Making them deficient in niacin makes them hyperactive. Now you're way ahead of me here because you can see the connection here. And Dr. Abram Hoffer is using niacin to treat ADHD children. And by the way, it works very, very well. The amount of niacin a child needs is typically close to an adult amount. I've seen kids need at least 1,500 milligrams of niacin a day. And in some cases with teenagers, the amount will top 5,000 milligrams a day. That's really a lot, but it's so much safer to use niacin than the normal drugs, uh, the Adderall, the Ritalin, this type of drug that is normally given to these children. And there's millions and millions and millions of children on these drugs now. Niacin is safer and it also helps calm them down. Does it improve mental focus? It probably does. In animals, when they start taking niacin, they calm down. 
and they're able to focus on things more. You can read Dr. Kaufman's account at DrYourself.com. Just do a search for Kaufman, K-A-U-F-M-A-N, at my website at DrYourself.com and read his comments on decreased running. This may be what you're experiencing. Or maybe you're just a mellow person, easygoing and laid back, and now you're feeling even more so, and that annoys you, in which case, refer to my previous comment, don't take niacin during the day. Take it at night, sleep well, you'll be refreshed, have a good day. Take niacin at night, sleep well, next day you're refreshed and have a good day. Ooh, there's people all around the world that would like very much to have that experience. You are, we can, niacin's our friend. Take as much as you need, if you're getting a side effect that isn't pleasant, back off.